Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amato. Today is the 13th of April and this time I have some news for you regarding Street Fighter V as we've had some interesting comments regarding the title from the series producer Yoshinori Ono who is basically promising that Street Fighter V will actually bring with it some interesting surprises. And he said in an interview, which was with Edge, quote, With Street Fighter V we have a fantastic opportunity to create something with a larger scope. A game that encompasses all that Street Fighter has become in the last few years, which also expands on that to become something it has never been before as well. So now we want to create something that nobody's expecting. It's going to be a title that caters to fans, of course, but one that also invites completely new players onto the scene. Street Fighter 4 was about reviving a passion. Street Fighter 5 is about growing that passion. And then he went on to talk a little bit about how the team is really enthusiastic, which has obviously made a lot of things a lot easier for Ono, but it's actually a good sign for Street Fighter V bringing something new to the table. And he went on to say, quote, I've worked on many different projects with Capcom, but in my career here, the green light process for Street Fighter V was comfortably the most straightforward. The game was probably a hundred times easier to get off the ground than the previous one. The passion around Street Fighter is currently such that the internal team with Cap within Capcom has been incredibly eager. There have been fewer obstacles and far less stress. In personal terms, Street Fighter V represents something new for me as well. And while he did discuss a few other bits, of course I will link the sourced interview in the description below this video, he had something else to say regarding basically, well, the rather large amount of expectations surrounding Street Fighter V worldwide. And he said this, quote, We have so much feedback being blared at us all the time. What I've learned over the years is that it's not always the loudest voices that you need to listen to. Often these people don't represent the masses. So it's a case of finding people, key people in the communities around the world, those who aren't as visible perhaps, in order to hear their take. Obviously, you can never make everyone happy, but if you can make the majority happy, then I'm confident in Street Fighter's future. So there you have it, some rather interesting comments from Yoshinori Ono there. I'm curious to see how exactly Street Fighter V is going to surprise us. Street Fighter IV, of course, and all its various iterations, was a very solid game. A very fun game that I am awful at. But one that not only had huge amounts of nostalgia, but actually brought Street Fighter into the modern era, modernised it, and kind of brought up that passion that Yoshinori was talking about. So now, of course, with the Street Fighter 4 being hugely successful, Capcom has probably given them a bit more scope to have, try out some interesting ideas. Because, you know, Street Fighter 5, people are probably going to buy it. And the fact that it has something interesting, well, they can afford to take a little bit of a gamble. But what could they possibly do? I just don't know, because, well, at the end of the day, a fighting game is a fighting game. That doesn't mean you can't be creative with it, of course. Of course you can. But I'm just kind of scratching my head thinking, what could they do? I personally can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. What would you like to see, or what do you think that Yoshinori has in store for us? Anyway, that is me done for this video, and I'll see you next time.